Uh, today we're holding a, a workshop. Um, normally in large enterprises, what we tend to do is uh, when we're retiring old legacy systems and upgrading to new systems, uh, is we run enormous proof of concepts and uh, we do large case studies and spend lots of man days trying to work out how it could work. Uh, but what I decided to do this time was rather than do those things was to do a time boxed very short implementation to actually start using it which is what we were doing so we started we retired this old legacy um, ticketing system and now we're moving to service desk from Atlassian. Um, we started with a brainstorming um, to define um, which features we like or we don't like in the old system and um, went through the possibilities um, how to adapt the service desk um, what to do better how to change it we started adapting the system live together and yeah, we are making good progress. Yes, as you perfectly know, we are doing Scrum, we are doing Agile and we are doing this in a very active way. And for this we need a tool and we needed a tool and we have chosen Chira with the Chira Agile extension, which massively supports us in our daily development tasks. It is a tool as it should be, meaning that it is supporting us in our productivity instead of preventing us being so. Ah, I mean, one of the most uh, interesting features for us was the ability to take all of our knowledge from Confluence and all of our previous Jira tickets that we've been using and make them immediately available to the user. This was really a fantastic feature. Within two seconds, they can search on their main page and find any information they want. And actually, hopefully, this will reduce the number of tickets that we will have in our system. The other feature was the, the user friendliness. This was really excellent. And I was, so happy when I saw how easy it was to use for my units um, with all these different technologies across the board. It looks so simple and so plain. And usually uh, when something looks very simple and has a deep functionality, um, it's usually a very complicated system on the back end. But as we proved in this workshop, this turned out not to be the case as we managed to get it installed, build the workflows, implement all of our uh, response resolution times and everything that we needed for our reporting. Uh, inside the tool in less than a day. Fantastic. I'm actually looking forward to the migration to this new system. Our old system doesn't support automatic reporting features and therefore it involves a lot of uh, manual intervention from our part to generate monthly and quarterly reports. In our SLA, we are um, obliged to provide the reports to our customers uh, to show our performance. In future, the customers can access the system without our manual intervention. They can access online and uh, having the actual reports on the spot. Uh, Gyro is default. Um, the reporting functionality isn't um, enormous as it could be. Um, so what we actually in fact did was immediately went on the Atlassian Marketplace. Um, with the help of you guys, we found some uh, excellent plugins uh, to expand the reporting capabilities and to make it tailored to our needs. And so what we did in the end uh, was we decided, why, why should we use reporting when we can do this live? And so what we looked at was um, another plugin which we were able to use which extended the functionality even further. So we were able to use live dashboards for any reporting purpose. And in fact, we started now to think, okay, we can entirely replace all of these reports.